put it together now and see how it turns out. Each side, just like this, and this. And every single one is going to go like this. There's three tiers, four in each tier. That's part number one. Okay, so step A is done now. Now that step A is done, now we're on to step two. So we're gonna be taking the T's over. We're gonna be teeing from one to the next. So you can see right here, we got the first part going, the first two pipes coming up to the elbows with cup links on them, over to this side. And it shows from this side over from the second one, we're gonna wanna do the same thing. It's the exact act this way. For a visual, I'm gonna give you guys an easy way to look at it. So it zigzags in. It comes in one way, it goes through this way right here. Then you're gonna put another coupling on here. Another 90, elbow. One more coupling. You do whatever you want to do, it doesn't really matter what. And then, attach them together. Just like that. Now this pipe, this pipe right here, this reducer, we're going to have this fitting on right here. It's gonna go from the hoses. That's gonna go basically on here like this, with a coupling attached to the hose. So, give you a little bit of a visual. I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. Coupling, 90. And this goes super easy. I am really impressed how easy it is. I was hoping it wasn't gonna to be too complicated. Directions are really simple, easy to use. Not very much verbiage at all. So for guys that don't like to read a lot, tees, hand me some tees. I need... So, I'm right here. I'm putting together these pieces right here. Okay. Next part is going to take the long ones. It's supposed to go like this. Just like this. This with the elbow facing towards the ceiling. No big deal. Not the elbow, I mean the tape. Okay, so what we did basically is we came up here with our legs, put our T inside here, cross piece going this way to this T. You're basically making four corners and then you put some more coupling in right here at the top of the tape. I mean, you put a coupling on top of this tape, putting another T in for another cross section. Pretty simple stuff. So next step it says, we got two this way, two that way. We're gonna just keep on building up. So you can see it's a little bit flimsy. So by having a cross support this way in the bottom, of course I want you to have one here at the top on the opposite direction from these ones right here. 
to give some stability. You can see it really helps it out a lot. So I'm gonna put two more elbows on. Another cross section on. It's really easy to put together. The instructions are okay. They're not great, they're okay. But um, if you look at the picture, you can pretty much figure everything out. Kind of like Ikea. It's kind of like Ikea furniture, right. It serves a purpose. So now we have pretty much the whole frame completely framed out. Sure, you're getting your joints nice and tight together. You don't want any leaks. Normally, we glue these. These don't require to be glued so you can disassemble them and clean them out thoroughly. But you want them nice and tight. So, as you can see, it's going to come up from my supply line from my pump into my water, circle it up through here. Go up and around, around, back down, loop through that pipe, come back through down through this one. It's gonna follow the same same pattern. Once I'm all done building this thing, I'm gonna go around and make sure everything's nice and tight. So I know it's gonna go over here, it's gonna come back around from that end, loop to here. While I'm sitting here, I might as well do this end completely. Alright, we have our hydroponic system all built from uh, Amazon that we got. And, uh, it's called Dream Joy. It's four tiers, 108 planting uh, locations. We found it pretty easy to put together. Um, it is a little bit wobbly, as you can see. The directions were similar to an IKEA type directions, where they give you pictures and you kind of just put it together. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we tried to contact the company, however, they are being sold through a third party on Amazon, so we can't get any information about the company whatsoever. So our next step is going to be to start the seeds and do the planning and um, get the solution for our hydroponics system. One thing to note is that it did not come with the bucket that would go on the bottom. So. We're gonna have to um, figure out what size bucket is gonna work best for this. It did come with the pump and the lines, so that's a great thing, but 
uh, the bucket. We will stay tuned in the next episode. We'll review what we decided to get. I made a mistake already. See that? Never leave a man in charge. So. Of course, Diana makes me do this because she, she can pronounce big words like delicate testing, <laughs> but she can't put it together plumbing. I'm sorry, how many times have I corrected you?